whatever that was. I just had a martini glass full of pudding and whipped cream and marshmallows. I'm a little hyper right now. Way to start my diet, right? Uh, let's see. Shit. Fuck, what was I going to talk about? I cleaned my room. See, la la la. Okay, it still looks messy, but uh, this is this is clean. I promise. This is clean. <laughs> I went to Comic Palooza this weekend. It was so much fun. I didn't think I would like a comic book convention set in the middle of a mall, but it was actually rather enjoyable. There was a great turnout, and me, the person who does not like comic books, actually bought some comic books. Hold on. It's called Atomic Robo. Now, there are two reasons why I bought uh, their, I suppose you could say, season one. Uh, there's a reason I bought it. Uh, Saturday was Free Comic Book Day, National Free Comic Book Day. You know, people give out free comics. Uh, usually it's a free comic issue, meaning that they made it specifically to be free, so it's kind of crap anyways. It's like an issue zero of whatever, uh, yes, my nose itches. It's, it's an issue zero of whatever they were doing, and this was their free comic book day issue, and I thought it was so freaking funny. I had to go back to their table and get more comics. Now, this is what the cool thing is. I got all of, I got all of season one, which is, uh six comic books plus free comic book day issue from this year and last year and issue one of their this particular company's uh, Neozoic which I'm actually looking forward to as well so me the not comic book person has comic books oh and a free comic book day I haven't read this one yet it's just a general one it's got Indiana Jones uh, Star Wars, and, uh, Emily the Strange, which is why I picked it up, because I like Emily the Strange. <sighs> but it was really fun. I hung out with Dirk Strangely and his, fan, uh, and, per, uh, Jared Perez and Rodney Ramos and the Reverend Christopher, all of whom I love, all of whom are great artists, and I had a really fun time. Uh, I met Rodney Ramos for the first time. He's a really great guy. He does a lot of comic book art. And uh, I think if I hung out with him more, I think I'd like him a little better. He's a little he's a little weird. Dirk Strangely, of course, I love. You know, his family is fantastic. I, you know, I got to play mom for a day because uh, their, their kids just absolutely adore me. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So you know how kids, uh, you know how people usually have pictures of kids that they're related to or that their own kids are in their wallet? Well, uh, I have pictures of kids that I don't have any claim to, but look how cute. It's Harlequin and Logan. Love them. Okay, uh, then, uh, Jared Perez, he's fantastic. Uh, I didn't buy anything from him, but, um, my boyfriend loves his comic books, so I think he might have bought something. And then the Reverend Christopher, uh, at first I said, do you know how to draw fairies? And he's like, well, yeah, that's just a broad with wings, right? And I'm like, yeah, sort of. And then I said, you know what? No, 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 no. Draw my kitty. Draw my cat. My Beppe. I love her. So uh, this is what the result was. My cat as a fairy with boobies. Don't know how I feel about it. But uh, which brings me to what I was doing all day yesterday. I was not making duck soup, but this is just kind of a joke off of what I was doing all day, which is what I commissioned this box for. I've been making duct tape roses. Ooh, ah. Uh, and now I have a box to keep them. Uh, I'm going to start selling them. Shoot, if y'all want to buy a duct tape rose from me over the internet, Ned, I have PayPal, so we can definitely set that up. I, I don't care if y'all buy anything. Uh, but finally I have something that I can do well that I could potentially make money off of that's a creative thing. I mean, I can make money off of photography, photography, but a photographer is only as good as his subjects, in my opinion, and 
some of the subjects are not so good. But uh, that was Comic Palooza, and I had a really fun time, and I cannot wait to go till I can't wait till next year to go. Uh, last weekend, I went to Delta H Con. Oh my God, what a big disappointment! I seriously, I will be surprised if it comes back next year. They didn't. They hardly did any promotion. There were two big names there. The Guild. Oh my God, I had like a horrible schoolgirl squeal when I even when I first saw their banner up. They weren't even there yet. And then of course Dirk Strangely. That's all folks. I mean the guild was so bored that they just played card games the entire weekend. Cause there was no one there. But whatever, I wish all the luck to Delta H Con. I hope they come back next year, but I won't be there. Let's see. I did buy something at Delta H Con though. He's a Delta B. Yeah, you had to build it and, and stuff, and I had problems, but Brandon helped me. Uh, Brandon's going to be away for two weeks. Two weeks. I'm so upset. I can't even. Ugh. He works in a plant once a year, every year, for two weeks. It's really good money. That's why he does it around this time every year. But, oh my god, I'm going to miss him so much. So, I'm going to be trying to keep busy over the next two weeks. Give me ideas of things to do that are not like things that you can do around the house. Because I've already got that stuff covered. I'm going to clean my room. Tomorrow I'm cleaning out the, the refrigerator of old nasty food that's been rotting there for a while. You know, and then I'm going to clean the downstairs and, you know, give the dogs flea baths. And, I mean, things at home... I've already thought about. Think of things for me to do outside of my house so I, that I don't become a bitch hermit. Yes, I just said that. I'll see y'all later.